Second Ezra 15 and 10. Behold, my people is led to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Call Halal Yahweh Bashan Shai Bashan Bakar Kadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth to be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, and to the aquath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. And see what is about to happen. Only the elect are going to live through this. Through the miracles and from powers on high, the elect are going to eat and come out of this unscathed. All right. Well, I need to correct myself. Some some of us will uh, be uh, martyrs, but we'll also promise to be the first to be raised up. So uh, I'm going to go to a video. And uh, play it. A couple of videos, actually. One, you know, the, my brother, my beloved brother, the Bonshapot, the head of the Gary Camp, just texted me something that I have to uh, play. That it was actually the video he sent me that made me decide to go ahead and do this. I was planning on doing it anyway, but but uh, he kind of prompted me to get get moving. So yes, this is the video. And I want to, uh, Hi, you know, Salaki, all these damn commercials. Uh, let's get to the proper mark right about uh, here. And this is Terrence Pop live from Terrence Pop live from the lair. All right. Overall, which will take us down the dark road in the future, if not immediately. Ah, uh, let's see. My predictions. Here we go. All right, now, the word on the street is there are organizations on the move to do bad stuff shortly before and after the election. Just watched the video on CS, uh, CBS. Uh, one of the CBS uh, uh, stations. I forget which one it is. CBS in something. But uh, Yahweh Ratazar, tomorrow, later on to this evening, I will do a, a lesson on it. And basically, they're saying that the biggest threat to America is white supremacy. Um, and we're going to call that Edomite supremacy. That, that The car in front of you out, out in the street is white. No one's skin is that color. All right? They're red. They're, the, they're described in the Bible, and their flesh is red. They're, the, you know, it's not just, they're not just red necks. Their whole bodies are red. They're red everywhere. They're the red people that the Bible speaks of and also referred to as the wicked. But we've been telling you all along that that is the biggest threat. They are the biggest threat to safety and peace worldwide. All right. Point blank, period. Don Lemon said it and everyone threw a fit. And now all the, the you know, many major uh, mainstream medias are also repeating that fact. Democrats or the Republicans, they want to burn the whole system to the ground. What does that entail? Well, basically 100% unemployment, reshuffling of all of the assets, zeroing out our currency, and uh, you know, starving a bunch of people, no medicine for anyone, basically Venezuela. Because that's. Which is a horrible thing. Let's grab a quick scripture. That scripture is uh because we're gonna go back to that second rather and finish it, but let's go to uh Sirach ten and eight. Because through these wicked policies they overthrow and take people down. Uh um, I went to Cleasiastes, that was a good one. I meant to go to Sirach.
And it reads, because of unrighteous dealings and injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And the citizens are, are ready to attack and fight the government. Billionaires have become trillionaires in the shortest period of time that has ever been seen. Now, all of what you've seen, it was a transfer of wealth from the middle class and the working poor to the millionaires and billionaires. Millionaires became billionaires, billionaires became trillionaires. That's what just happened. And the people are pissed and they're ready to fight as a result of it. All right. What that entails, burning it all down to the ground. Okay, and the right will have to play catch up to try to undo all that if, it, if they are successful, which I hope they are not. I hope it doesn't come to pass, but from what I've been able to see, craziness probably is going to ensue. I am predicting massive amounts of voter fraud to be detected. Some of it will be stopped, some of it won't, and there will be massive lawsuits in regards to this. Like I said before, there will be riots. No matter what, there will be a lot of blocking traffic, and the blue states are going to have it worse, to include general violence, attack on federal installations, courthouses, and what have you. Now, in my opinion, they should probably go after family court because they have basically a, a large amount of responsibility for the craziness that has taken place in our civilization over the past 40 years. He just said the most truest and realest statement, family, family court. The fraud that is Title IV-D, which is erroneously called child support. The destruction of the American family, which was aimed at the Israelites first. But it's destroyed the very fiber of family and structure. And look at the music and the result of the youth and the decline of the family as a result of it. Not to mention it's illegal. Illegal was never enacted into positive law. So basically... They've been doing these things under the color of law, which is illegal. All right. You can look that up for yourself. Title 4D uh, was never enacted into positive law. Therefore, it is not law at all. But yet it is an enforced and it has destroyed men, it has destroyed women, it has destroyed children, it has destroyed families. And that's how you knew Antifa and Black Lives Matters were controlled by... Esau eat them because they didn't attack any of the banking systems. They didn't attack any of the the uh, uh, every as a matter of fact, every de uh, 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 um, place. I'm trying to remember the names of them. Every every family and health place where basically where you go to to uh, collect child support should have been burned down and destroyed if they were really if they were for real. But they weren't. They didn't attack any of those places. They were all still standing in every neighborhood. While they were looting the, the, the stores next door to it and taking all the clothes out. But yet they left their one of their number one oppressors, st oppressors standing. But BLM and the left is blind to that. <laughs> Go figure. All right, I'm expecting assassination attempts. Uh, these will take place on uh, Republicans in office. Police, judges... And perhaps they'll go after the big kahuna and the second in, com in command himself. So, you better be on your toes. It's going to get crazy. It's going to get lively up in here. All right, there will be attacks on the wealthy. All right, Antifa, BLM, the left. They have no love for the wealthy to include billionaires. No matter how much money they have donated to BLM, they have not removed the bullseye. Well, he failed to mention the Boogaloo Boys and all the white supremacy groups in that portion. But uh, let's go back to the scriptures. Because, yeah, it's getting ready to be a free for all in America. This is uh, back in 2nd Ezra. The 15th chapter. This is uh, 15, uh, 2nd Ezra 15 and 12. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it. And, 
And they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through all the blasting of hell with the fearful constellation. And look at the, all the damage that was brought from on high on all the different uh, food supplies. All right. You had the, all, that, all the, uh, the farmlands in the Midwest that were drowned underwater and destroyed yet uh, last year's. And, and plus all the storage that was in the storage houses and the silos. And then you had the fires that destroyed um, most of the crops that were coming out of California this year. So you're going to have some serious food shortages come into the upcoming winter months going into this dark winter. All right. Uh, verse 13. Salakia. Verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up against an, another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be seditions among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and, their, and in the course of their action, they shall stand in their power. For a man shall go into a city and not be able, because of the pride of the cities, shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and be destroyed. And men shall be afraid, and a man shall have no pity on his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for the great tribulation. So, yeah, you're going to have a lot of home invasions and, like he said, attacks on the wealthy. Let's go back to uh, another video that I just received from the beloved elder Demasha Pot. And, uh, And see, in the continent of the United States, most of the events that took place over the last 15, 20 years were, were live exercises. And all of a sudden, they became real. A lot of these mass shootings and things were exercises. As a matter of fact, even 9-11 itself was an exercise that went live. Keep that in mind. The operation was called Dark Winter. But let us not forget there was an exercise right before COVID in 2019. Uh, I think it was in November or December or, 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 or yeah, I think it was done in November if I'm not mistaken. But there was a live exercise of a disease that that uh, that 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 went that turned into a, a pandemic and how they would deal with it. A month or two later, COVID hit. All right. So it was a live exercise. Remember that. Video games reveal and the movies reveal their plans. A lot of people ignore those games, but those games have lots of information in them so that I have found. All right. So they're going to go digital. They're going to destroy the economy and they're going to say that money is the main culprit and, and, and as an excuse to go digital as they destroy the economies, which is going to make everything go ape shit. And that's where we're headed. Um. Uh, Let's get another quick group of scriptures here. This is uh, 
2 Ezra is the 16th chapter. I'm um, start at verse 70. Let's see. All right. 70, yeah. 2 Ezra 16 and 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So it's a lot of, you know, that they're about to put their hands on, on the elect, which means the Lord is going to lift up that standard. All right. They're about to uh, fill their belly by getting their system going. And, and the Lord said as soon as they, 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 they uh, achieve this enterprise and as soon as it takes off, that's when the Lord is going to intervene. So this thing is close, very, very close. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall it be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as gold in fire. And how do you try gold? You burn it. It has to be. It has to go through fire, through great heat. So the very elect are going to get tested to the to the very limit, which is why we have to pray. You know, that's what the Lord's prayer is. You know, that our temptation not to take you know, that, uh, that chipped, take that RFID chip. All right. Because that's going to be one of the things, the tools that they're going to use to try to appease the people, to, to tell the people, everything is going to be okay. If you do this and the truth of the matter is it's not. Call Hello. Shalom.